Everybody knows at this time of the year, they're tied for first place in the NFL East. <laughs> and hopefully they'll settle the NFL dispute. But anyway, uh, back to Tech America. About two and a half years ago, we formed Tech America, the Technology Association of America. And we did that by merging four great organizations. And uh, I think we've uh, pulled it all together in the last couple of years under uh, Phil Bond's leadership. And uh, one of the gems that came out of the merger was the Tech America Foundation. And what the foundation does for us, the Tech America is an association and we do lobby, but the important part about the foundation is we now have a great vehicle for research and education and communication, which is very important to our industry. And so events like tonight do flow from the foundation and we've done a number of things, including some of our research studies, which uh, show up in the, in the fall, as well as we have a great West Coast event coming up in October called the David Packard Medal Achievement Award Dinner. So for those of you here, if you want to go to nice weather on the West Coast, we'll see you out there in October. And by the way, the last time I did, this is my fifth time, uh, Phil took the book away, so I had no idea what was coming next. But uh, with the foundation, uh, we've been able to pull together uh, really a great team. And now we have our leader. And what I'd like to do is introduce the new chairman of the Tech America Foundation, former Senator Robert F. Bennett from Utah. Robert, would you please stand? And as most of you know, Robert is bipartisan. He's worked across the aisle. He brings a great blend of both government and technology. And so with that kind of uh, leadership, who knows where this foundation go, but nowhere but up, but really help us become a leader in the world. So Robert, welcome. Now, why are we here tonight? It's the American Technology Awards, and it's named after Terman, the original Mr. T. But Frederick Terman was really the, one of the founders in Silicon Valley. And for our West Coasters like Tim and company here, uh, come out of Silicon Valley, it's really been the, I guess, the hotbed for innovation in this country. And when we pull this back together as part of Tech America, uh, we were looking for our Oscar equivalent. And so now we have the Termans. And basically, what Frederick Terman did in Silicon Valley is bring government, industry, and the investment community together to really provide the foundation for a lot of the technology we now have in this country. So that's what the Termans are all about, and you're going to see a great award show. So sit back and relax for a while, but before we get to the awards, we have a little sh slideshow for you, which really is a quick couple, about a minute or two history of technology in the world, particularly in the U.S. As you can see, we, the, we started out with the Model T. And why was it named the Model T? After Fred. Okay, Terman, first Terman was the Model T. As we move through history and innovation in, in our country, you can see all the Termans that are up there. Now the last one is the, is the greatest one of them all. Of course, you all know that uh, Al Gore invented the internet. We invited him for our dinner tonight, but uh, he was a no-show. But uh, just to have some fun with the Termans, but uh, it's one of the few programs where we honor products and services. And we put together an expert panel to pull this, pick the awardees. And if you're not on the list tonight, what you should do is get your nominations in next year because it's a great program and should take great pride in what your companies do on a product and service basis. 
And so we're going to move this as long as we pass, as uh, fast as we could. We want to get you out here before midnight. And I think we're trying to move this so that you're to dessert by 9. And by the way, that dessert will be served when we're done. So if you are got that sweet tooth, stay in your seat. But we're going to move along as fast as we could. But to start the awards program, I'd like to introduce Paul Thomas. Paul is the vice president at Wiley Systems. Uh, he heads up their defense and information, defense and intelligence business, and he's going to handle the program going forward. So 